Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Pathfinder Kingmaker. This is Gunal RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today as we manage some kingdom affairs. Um, to what do I owe the honor, my queen? And I can shout at her, speak to me properly. Okay. Well, I don't know where that came from. I just figured that maybe she had something that, that, that just might as well check while I say hi to you and welcome and all that sort of stuff because we're, we're doing our things over here and uh, we're putting people to work. What are we going to do more than anything? We are going to spend all the build points that we, um, that we had last episode. Uh, no CD over here. That is a shame. However... Let's go here into Tuskdale. So it says town over there, but I think you need to have an event to... Uh, yeah, we're not going to spend any build points. There's no, no such thing. Um, you, I think you need to spend... You know, just send somebody there to upgrade the towns. Right? Because, like, we have everything done. For a while we've had everything done. Varnhold might not have everything done. No, it does. It does. It's also a town. Wait. That might be a good thing. Let's go in there. Let's go into Varnhold and see if we can upgrade anything. So, for building... Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Varnhold was a city that just sort of popped up for me. So, I sort of... Yeah. Good Good news. We have places to build things in. Um, let's go in here, though. Just to make sure... Yeah, as you can see, everything is grayed out, and we have 20 out of 20. Just to make sure we have everything. So, how many cities do we have? We have Tuskdale. Shamuin Steps is one is, is a city as well. Yeah, we have... <clears throat> we have... Yeah, it's fine. As many cities as I thought. Uh, what? Oh, sure. These are... Are these... I wonder if these are unlocked. If they were unlocked because of commerce or something like that. Hmm. It's good to check, then. No warnings. No easy way to tell from... Yeah, we have peers over here. No easy way to tell from... Uh, unfortunately. From up out here. As far as I can tell. And as you can see, everything is busy. Okay. So there was only that one, and of course Varnhold, that happened, I think, probably a month or two ago. Um, because of um, because of us getting the, the town, this mostly for free. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put halfling breweries in there. Uh, what does this do? Uh, it's just a thing. It's not, yeah, it's not, it's not really much of a thing. What do we have? We have a, <clears throat> a fort. We have a trade shop. We have Varnold Hin, Hin, Inn, counts as an inn, but it doesn't tell me what what bonuses it has. Lighthouse can only be built in a light lighthouse slot. So is, that's not a pier slot. We have a piers already. Interesting. Go for it. Uh, the halfling brewery. Yeah, we have some other things like goblin quarters. Uh, we have new things basically. And I want to oh mage tower. Yeah, this is important. And it is... It requires... A, yeah. How about there? Yeah. Mage Tower. We have a park for extra loyalty. School? For military. Oh, no, no, no. It gives military when adjacent to barracks. And plus divine when adjacent to shrine. That makes sense. Uh, Turvel's Leather Workshop. Absolutely. Uh, let's put it over there. I can move that. Teleportation circle. Wait, what? Oh, it's just a different version. Allows to select uh, a select clientele to travel the world across magical teleportation network. This one does as well. Also hosts a teleportation circle that allows a, simple, uh, a select clientele to travel the world across a uh, magical teleportation network. That's good. I'm not really sure how that will work, but that is good. Uh, troll quarters. Yeah, those are not new. So we have a shrine. We have a shrine in here. That could add a little bit of divine. A sacred grove. Plus two when adjacent to a monolith. Mm-hmm. An orphanage. A shelter where orphans and the homeless... Oh, restricted to kingdoms with a good alignment. 
that's the, the sure whatever whatever lumberyard longhouse library jail hospital what do we have bonus to the regent or council when resolve oh that's uh no no, no. that's only resolving situations in this region so it sucks uh it does add it's also restricted to good yeah if you <laughs> it's just weird Halfling Brewery. I didn't do that. I apparently did not. Because he was the first. So these are good, because these are new. Uh, what do we have over here? Varnold Hin. In. In. Not Hin. Uh, let's see. All checks, events made, Grand Diplomat, and Minister are made with the... It doesn't say here in this kingdom. I mean, I suppose I should. Because uh, it's for chaotic. And let's see... Aviary allows go governing the kingdom from adjacent regions, even if those regions are not part of the kingdom. In addition, lowers the time required to resolve events by one day in this adjacent, in this and adjacent regions. That's really cool. I'll put it in here without any thought of strategical things. Um, we don't have a courthouse, do we? Or anything of the sort in here. Mm, no. I would like to put the... I like something for military, honestly. Orphanage here is just for community and loyalty. Community is also pretty important. So the school here is next to barracks. But we have a fort. That doesn't count as barracks. That does affect the jail. Yeah, we don't have barracks in here at all. No, we do. They're over there. So we're going to need to move the brewery. Mm. How do I do that? I think I know that. If I do this. The brewery. That's how it is. Really weird. But that's how it is. So we have barracks over there. And I'm going to put a school in there. Also next to the Halflings Brewery, so, you know, they're going to learn about um, barrackery and and uh, brewery. There we go. Where is it? School? Uh, uh, yeah, that's the one. Good. Good, good, good. And I'm sure we're going to need upgrading them. Uh, but we're going to spend a couple of weeks in here anyway, so it doesn't matter much. Our advisors are all busy. Uh, we're not going to do any things. We are going to... Aggressive expansion. Sure. Let's start that with Lindsay. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. And not this. This is for culture. So here. 50% chance. River of gold plus economy on triumph. What about you? I'm already spending points in here, apparently. For military. Sure, I want that. And I hope you succeed. There we go. Okay, that's going to be 14... Oh, 21 days on the other one. Okay. Let's start... Save the game, of course. Uh, do I need... Can I do anything here? No. Why is it... Oh, because it's on a... Yeah, the game doesn't update what, what is marked as an X or what isn't. Okay. Uh, a lot of events. Successes, please. Success! Support the council. Oh, that's the support the, the counselor. She's gonna want to talk to me. Loyalty has reached level 7. We're still worried. Failure on the River of Gold. An attempt to make the locals spend the gold at night only led to greater conflicts and the emergence of underground gold workers. They're miners. Called miners. They're, they're what they are. Aggressive expansion has been a success. It now takes less time to claim and upgrade regions. Uh, and uh, that is about the only thing we got. Let's focus on our, our, our things up here. A sign from above. That's going to be for Harris. I remember. Um, we're going to need Winged Menace over here. We still can't do that, so that's fine. Bandits... Bandits' Benz outrage. Several bandit encampments have emerged in the Gnarl marches. They plunder the peasants. Ro yeah. Uh, can, I, can you deal with that? That sounds like a good time. Ancient tradition. An invitation to a celebrated folk festival was delivered to the castle. Oh, that sounds like a good time as well. Uh, I wonder... The DC over here is 16, so it's an easy check. I could wait until Valerie is out. This needs to be dealt with... But not that much of a hurry. 
Yeah, Valerie is going to be the one dealing with that. Uh, and then we have a War of Shadows over here. The region is being torn apart by a war between two criminal clans. What's worse, one the uh, or the other warring family has every local guard in their pocket. Only outside intervention can put an end to this bloodshed. Namely, Jethal. She's the only one that can do that. I also have a crisis point, which is good enough. I'll do that. Counselor waits in the... Uh, the courtroom, of course. So bad, bad, bad. Yeah. Uh, then we have strengthen, strengthen, support the treasurer's endeavors. N not at the moment. Support the high priest's endeavors. Not at the moment. Strengthen the storyteller's skills as a magister. He's not a magister. Support the curators. Support the wardens for stability. Actually, I do want this, but it's going to take a little while. Trade agreement with Galt. Is that the bad one? That's the bad one. Strong nation, uh, that is that wise? N not at the moment. Support the region's endeavors for extra community over here for Valerie. That's not going to happen in a while. Research into the nature of curses. That's for Armag. I think an, a day is going to take care of that. Arcane lobby. Uh, cost of buildings. Yeah, that's actually interesting. Support the magister's endeavors for Arcane. Uh, in helping hand provide a, to account provides the counselor a plus two bonus when resolving situations. Just like that. Sana is so powerful. Oh, sure. Um, Magister's Endeavors. Defenders of the Land, number two. Cirrus is not is busy right now. Support the General's Endeavors. That's going to take a while. Strengthen Sana's uh, skills as a counselor more. <laughs> She'll spend all the money on Sana. She's going to succeed at everything. Trade agreement with Sertova. That's a bad one. Okay, now we did that. And we have a couple of things waiting in the, uh, the queue. And you are going to do Bandits' Outrage. Sounds good. Why the apostrophe is there at all? Or uh, that. It's a thing. It's, it's a thing. Let's go to the thr throne room and uh, have a chat with Octavia. <clears throat> also, this would be a nice opportunity for us to try to use the, uh, the teleportation. I don't know how that's going to work. Oh, it's Hannah that wants to talk to me. Giladel, your subjects grow countless, like a swarm of locusts. Please, Sana, don't talk to, about my subjects uh, as subjects or as insects. They require food and there is not enough cropland. What? We need to b burn down some forests? Is that it? And there is not enough cropland, she says. Hunger brings them to you. They seek your permission to plow an ancient oak grove. It is said that the wealthy use this forest for entertainment. Hunting for sport. They won't like it if uh, they take away their toy. Oh, I thought it was gonna be, you know, because we're killing ancient trees. Uh, I mean, uh, we we need hardwood, so it's just fine for houses and whatnot. We're killing ancient trees all the time. But the earth must bear fruit, not serve as a playground. But, that's the second but sentence that starts with a but. But I know better than to chop down old trees or give them uh, as playthings for the idle. Grant this territory to me and my pack. My wards long have a uh, long for a place of their own where they can escape persecution, and your pack may take all the rest. Oh, I see. It's like a mixture of things. The children of Lamashtu will keep away from the uh, from your other lands and leave them to be safe for your pack. Uh, sounds good to me. I don't want any problems with merchants. Let which. I assume is the wealthy here, which is not necessarily the case, but sure. Because, um, you know, the... anyway, let the peasants find themselves another field to plow. Oh, right. Yeah, it is the wealthy. The land must bear fruit and uh, feed the people to amuse a crowd of wealthy crooks. Allow the peasants to plow the, these new fields uh, and then take the oak. Either, like, I think this is what she asks. Grant this territory to me and my pack, not your pack. This, uh, Yeah, that's why I was confused. I said your pack. No, no, no. Me and my pack. Uh, Sana, I'm sorry. I, no. The, just give it to the peasants. I wish you had given them to me, but I understand. You must think of your own pack. Sure. It's definitely what it is. It's Shania! No. Wait, wait. That was the name of a weapon? A prince? It's always the, the same thing. You know, giving me gifts. 
Giladel, it's Gin Lindsay. I've just received word. Did you know that there's trouble brewing in Varnhold? Their militia is at odds with itself. The captain cannot keep her soldiers in line, according to her. They've gotten completely out of hand. It might even come to bloodshed. I think you should pay them a visit. I should, then. No quest update. I did want to go. I was going to say, I, I, I sort of got cut off by myself. Um, yeah, that is quite update, quest update. Uh, I was going to say that um, I think it's a good a good time to go east, because we do have some things there. Yeah, Serpent Prince. It is a Fouchard. What is a Fouchard? It's it's a long, it's Polex. It's, it's fine. <laughs> it's just, they call it a Fouchard, because it, it, it's a Polex. So we got uh, one loyalty over there. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, we've got projects over here. Support the counselor's endeavors. More Tsana things, of course. Uh, let's go back into the map and see how these are looking. Specifically, the Mage's Tower. Zero days? You jerk. You are such a jerk. How am I supposed to know? Ah, well, I'll wait a day. I don't want to wait, wait a day, though. Uh... Well, the problem with um, the problem with that is that if I don't have a mage tower anywhere else, which I don't... Oh, I do. I do. I have a mage's tower here. How do I use it? I don't know how I use it. Uh, so, I we have learned... <clears throat> excuse me. We have learned that uh, we don't... Go to the tavern, just to make sure no nobody's here. But we cannot control how long we rest when we are in the throne room. When we're anywhere in the capital, in fact. It will always rest for exactly eight hours, if it's your first rest, I think. If that's the qualification. Or, it'll rest for exactly a day, if it isn't. Which, uh, sure. What's new around here? Oh, I was right when I said that Pitax is full of shameless foxes dressed like people. Lately, there's so many folk from Pitax, more than mosquitoes in the spring. And what's up with you, game, today? P -p -p talking about people like insects, specifically. Anyway, uh, we're leaving. We don't need to be here. Uh, we do need to leave, basically. And uh, what I'll do, because it's zero days, I don't, I'm not actually sure why it counts like that. What I'll do is I'll just move about a little bit. Um, flat top hill. I wonder if it like shows up on the map or something. So we're gonna save and we're gonna move back and forth a little bit. And then, actually we don't need to do that. We just need to go into the kingdom management screen over here and do that. And yes, I do need to click twice, because there's a bug. Zero days. Hmm. Yeah, that's weird, isn't it? It's fine. We're gonna move a little bit. What is that? Oh, it's the edge of the kingdom. Or the edge of the region, anyway. Do you see that? It's the weirdest. The map is always weird. Zero days, yeah. Okay, so it, it might be at the end of the day. Which is fine by me. Because we're just going to go there. Five hours. I needed a little bit more than that. Cancel. And I'm... Yes. It's right there. Was it right there before? We do have things to do. But... Well, I, I don't know if it was right there before. Border guards. Reinforce your border with a special perimeter guard unit. I did it. What? Oh, now you work. It's the map screen working. Independence. You choose to be independent of any Brevin factions. Our country has been recognized as one of the independent river kingdoms. By whom? It doesn't tell. But it gives, gives us a bunch of bonuses, so that's good. We also have two new events. The Grand Diplomat wants us in the throne room. Why can't I go to the throne room? Oh, because I mean not, not in the throne room. Yes, I will do that. Uh, a minister demands your attention. That's probably the new the new events. Let's see. Winged Menace over here, that'll be Ragongar. This needs to be taken care of right now, in fact. Uh, it's gonna be, that's... That's very little chance. 35. We're gonna do it. Uh, then we have Ancient Tradition. Would that, <clears throat> excuse me, would that be, that would be Valerie. 70%, that's, that's a lot better. Uh, and then we have a couple of these. 
And a sign from above. I can't do that, can I? I can't. I'm waiting for Harim. Which is probably going to take a while because I think he's on curses. Yeah, he's on curses. Which means this is not going to be done, most likely. Oh, yeah, it isn't. The locals could consider... Oh, the greatness of power of the gods. Screw them. Um, so. Then we... Oh. There's a better way of doing this. There's a better way of doing this. I just entered the throne room from here. And when I rejoin the map, because or re, well, I go back to the map, uh, the kingdom management, the axes will be there, and I don't need to look at things. Giladel is Jethal. Do you know why I find the company of the short living very annoying? They're the short lived, maybe. They're in such a hurry to do so many as many things as they can that they cause utter, utter chaos, which would be an interesting subtext for the, the game to tell. Apart from it not making any sense and being more of a trope than anything else. It, this doesn't make any sense. Have you... Do you... The, it is a thing. Like, the commentary is there. People do leave according to how long they are going to live for. Uh, they leave... They live for as long as they... Lo you know what I mean? I said leave. It doesn't... It's live. Uh, people do live according to how long they think they're going to live. But that's just not the biggest at all reason why people or do things. Um, especially in a world full of gods <laughs> that, <clears throat> excuse me, that have uh, very clear plans for them after death and all that sort of stuff. Uh, in the real world, that doesn't happen. Uh, it's, just, it's like, I mean, it, 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 again, it's, it, it would be an interesting commentary if it was a serious, serious problem for people like, oh, I'm, I only have 80 years or so, or 80 years, you're lucky if you have that, uh, but still, just, I have only have that, I'll, I'll do all the things, I'll, it's just running all around, no, there's people just, you know, spend decades doing the same thing, and they're perfectly content with that, I mean, maybe they're not perfectly content with that, but they, they do that, and it's, it's a thing, and, you know, it's just how it is, for many people, anyway. Back in Kionin, says Jethal, intrigues are very carefully devised. They're in... You really don't have anything better to do with your time. That, is, that, is that what... Is that the subtext here? Is that, you know, immortals just are boring as hell? Because <laughs> they just do boring things? Uh, they are intended to last dozens of years. The plots were elegant and lies exquisite. Oh, I see what you mean, intrigues. Right, that's the same in the mortal world, in the real world as well. Don't worry about it. Things are done differently here. For starters, spy masters publicly identify themselves as agents of espionage, all-seeing visionaries. They might, as well, paint a target on their foreheads. It's not a mistake I would like to make. For your subjects, I shall simply be a minister. You come to power only. You've come to power only recently, and the city already is already full of murderers and spies. A guard recently found a stash while inspecting a trade caravan. It didn't contain any smuggled goods except some sp are we, why are they smuggling goods? Why what is the smuggling of goods? What do you what is this? Hmm? Do we have like prohibited stuff? I'm going to have to have a chat with the guards. I can't. It's not a thing. It didn't contain any smuggled goods, she says, except some spying equipment, namely paper, and a few deadly toys. Namely knives. We could uh, identify neither where the package came from nor to whom it was going. But so, if you're going to use to whom, you should say whence it came from, because that's the proper... Anyway, but it, if you don't want such tools to put, put to use, you must figure out who the spy is. Figure who the spy is. Yeah, figure out who the spy is. I could order the merchants to look for a stranger among the, their servants, but I don't trust money bags traders. I'll... Yeah, we're just sticking to the, that thing. Okay. I'd rather charge my people with watching the merchants than, again, what... No, yeah, she just says, I'd rather charge my people watching merchants. Then again, why look for clues when the best proof is evidenced by confession? If you bring me the merchants for a couple of hours, the problem will be solved. Yeah, it will, as long as you consider the problem to be you talking to me about this stuff, because that certainly will be solved. The rack will make the spy sing like a bird. Yes, it will. It won't it. That is the problem, isn't it? Um, let the guards watch those who have arrived by the caravan. Tell the merchants what... Uh, that if they fail to hand over the stranger... Oh, there is a stranger among them. <laughs> this is really weird. I thought... Because she says, I could or order the merchants to look for a stranger among them. Uh, among the, the servants, their servants. Um, 
that is just a suggestion. It's like, uh, well, I, it's a thing that we could look for for a stranger or somebody. You know, just you know, it could be a thing. No, no, no. It's a specific stranger that she didn't mention before, as far as I can tell. Uh, uh, the assumption here is that spies work alone and uh, are shady and go around uh, and just like being like, Ooh, I'm a spy, and ours don't go around doing that. They just shout and are not shady. Apparently, that's a, that's well. I, uh, put all the merchants on the rack. Um, who, in your opinion, sent the spy? Jaythal's smile is predatory. I wonder, too, she says. The name we receive under torture will be real. The others will be fake, just to trick us. So far, yeah, certainly, the person who is being tortured under, you know, because they need to give you a name, definitely won't give you a fake name just to make sure you'd stop torturing them. Or a name, any name whatsoever. So far, all I can say is that it could be any of our neighbors. Uh, yeah, it's probably going to be P-Tax. It's just the uh, money bags, n mentions, and all that. It's P-Tax for sure. Um, yeah, tell the merchants that if they fail to hand the stranger over, we'll seize their goods and gold. We've practically... We've... Uh, Jethal loses interest. I don't know what that means. Hopefully she doesn't leave, because I think they can leave. We've practically caught an enemy spy, and now you entrust the final hunt, not to me, but to some smuggler merchants. What a waste of time. And now I can support the minister's endeavors, or uh, scout the central regions, or scout the northern regions. Bye. She's still here, so we're good. Blinzy! Kill Adele. We've arrested a strange man. The word is eerily close to stranger, so I suppose this might not... This might be in the relation to that? I don't think so. He was making a map of our rivers and bays. Upon his capture, he shouted that he serves the Black Marquis and uh, was sent to create a map of the local trade routes. But pirates are full of guile, and this map might be used to, not for trade, but for raids. What are we going to do with him, being that he's admittedly serving another king? Uh, the Black Marquis. Is that from P-Tax? I think so. The most important thing now is to appear strong and influential. If we d demonstrate our military power, the pirates will be afraid to face us. Even better, we could show them our riches. Whether, or, Yeah, definitely do that to, pir to pirates. Whether or not the story about trade routes is a tale, we can let the Black Marquis... We can let the Black Marquis wonder if he'd be better off if he were our friend. Uh, yeah, we're not going to give them riches. The, that's what they want. I, we are going to fight them. They're coming in here, doing the fighting. I'll, I'll fight them. I wish no more about the Black Marcus and his protectorate, please. Oh, it's Chellis. Oh, it's Cheliax. Oh, right, the demons. I forgot about them as well. Once a Chellis pirate named Morgan the White visited the village of the Dead Bridge to, the, to rest and replenish his supplies. He settled there and in time decided to build a whole pirate nation there. Those joined him began to collect duties from foreign s from foreign ships. Those who joined him, I think. Uh, but they never touched the ships of the River Kingdoms. Thus he gained the support and respect of his neighbors. That's how the Protectorate was created. Hmm. So... I could deceive him. Show him we're rich, and he'll conclude that, he, that they'll be better off as our friends. No. Show, show him how strong our army is. They'll better... They'd better not cross swords with us. It's interesting that we're saying show him, and then they. But here is he'll? I think it's because the Black Marquis is a person, and his protectorate is they. I think that's what it means. Well, maybe it's better we have no business with them. Who knows how much blood there would be on their wares in gold. Yes, all, all the blood. They're pirates. What do you think? Inzi. <laughs> anyway, uh, that was not the spy. Or maybe it was. It sounded like it was. It was spying. Uh, scouting projects. Yes, what is this? With special projects, you can find locations you missed within, uh, within kingdom regions while exploring the region. Use projects to send a scout after a while, and they will return with information about a new location. After some time to rest, scouts will be able to continue exploring regions for more locations. Um, a new location? So basically, send it to locations you've explored already. That sounds fair. Grand Diplomat wants to discuss important matters. Yes. Uh, and we have a new bunch of new things, which is great. 
uh, regions, we have other, and those are the scouting. And we have the defenders of the land, but we're busy with that for right now. And of course, the scouts are not really scouts, they're just our people. And that's bad news, because I, uh, I need them. <laughs> Man, I can't click on the thing, there's so many. Oh, we didn't... Oh, it's back here. Right, okay. Uh, <clears throat> so, you are uh, maybe not going to be there at all. <clears throat> I do apologize for my throat, I don't know what it's going, what it's doing today. Uh, and uh, we have advisors, all of them busy at the moment. And uh, we do need to go to Varnhold. We're going to teleport in a little bit. Uh, but uh, then it's good that it's in Varnhold because it's kind of far away. So a sign from above, not going to happen. Still the last day, so that's fine. Regongar is doing that. But we don't have any points, so we're hoping that he succeeds at that. Yeah, it's important to defend our folks. Um... And then we have an ancient tradition, and that has a little bit of time, and it's an easy one, so we'll see. So that's the bad agreement. What do we have? We have a bunch of them over here. Strengthen storytellers as a magister. Support curators' endeavors. Support wardens' endeavors. Trade agreement with Galt. Uh, this is the strife, yeah. Strong nation is a potentially nice one, but not going to do that. Support to regions' endeavors. Uh, nature of the Curses can't do that for a little while. Arcane Lobby, that'll be interesting, but I can't do that. Support the Magister's Endeavors. So, yeah, and then we have a couple of them up here. The Grand Diplomat's Endeavors. And, uh, Scouting the Regions. Seriously? The Scouts have to be the... <sighs> it's so weird. It's so weird that you can't choose more other advisors to do these. It's just specifically those. Uh, that sucks. Uh, but it is what we're gonna do. So, you're gonna do that. And, uh, we are gonna... Going to Varnhold. Because this is a town. We might be able to upgrade some stuff. We're definitely going into Varnhold, for sure. But, uh, the point is... Requires town. There it is. Barracks. It becomes a garrison. See what I mean? We can't upgrade it again. Okay, so the problem with this is that it's difficult to tell what has been upgraded or what ha is, is there at all and what isn't. Because there's buildings all over. And upgrading them is very important. Garrison is now ours. Halfling's Brewery cannot be upgraded. The school cannot be upgraded, which is surprising. Uh, what is that? Oh, requires a city. Right, right, right. So we did upgrade some stuff already, or they upgraded. And this requires a city. City management could be so much better, honestly. <laughs> Not in terms of UI, but in terms of actual design, because it's so small. It might as well be just... I mean, I suppose it's fun to have them here, but it's also a bother. Because the... Because, like, you're missing so much stuff. Um, with, with, um, you're missing so much stuff. Like, for example, this thing, stability in a settlement with the jail. Yeah, the, the things that are connected to each other is what, is what I, sort of, sort of really bothers me. Made with a random modifier. All checks for the event addressed by the Grand Diplomat and Minister are made with a random modifier. 1d6 minus 3. Huh. Yeah, um... But still, we're good. And, uh... And, yeah. I'm a fan... I, I don't know. I'm a fan of games like Anno. Anno is a fun game because you just... You put the buildings down and they affect a bunch of people and it's kind of fun and it's all great and you, and you do plans and all that sort of stuff. I like it a lot. I am really a fan. I mean, I'm not a big fan, but I like it. I only really played Anno 1703 and 1404, I think. So... Exit... We're taking all these people, yes. They're not rested, but that's fine. I don't know why they're not, because... No, I made it... No, I think I did rest. Anyway, um, teleport to Varnhold. Lovely. And now we go into Varnhold. That was great. That was fantastic. That's I love it. I'm a fan of this. So much better, especially because there's the mountains. It's just a pain tra traveling the mountains. It's not... Well, it is a pain because it takes forever, for one. But also, um, 
it's a pain because um, it does spend like two days or three days out there. Decide the fate of the Varnhold Militia. What happened? Some of the of Tarval's people believe that the common folk can take better care of their settlement than some faraway queen. And it's time to teach them a lesson, apparently, even though they are right. Or do we agree with their demands? What will the queen decide? Yes, what will the queen decide? And then we have annexation. Um, proceed with seizing a territory. Th that's just that's just normal uh, quests that uh, show up. They're always there for reasons. Um, let's save the game. Excuse me. Oh, they're talking. We plow. Oh, oh yeah, I should read over here. What good is the state to us? We're the militia. We can fight for ourselves. Interesting that they use the word state. It's really weird. In Portuguese, we only have one state and one country. Um, in Portuguese, the word state is used sometimes interchangeably for government. Uh, but it is not used like that in... Um, unless it, in, it, you're talking in very specific circumstances. It's not used like that in... At least in America. I don't know how it is in uh, in England and in just United Kingdom or in other English-speaking countries. But, uh, so that's funny to me. And I don't think that that is... I don't know that people, you know, that... that, that I Because I know what that means because I hear people in Portugal say the word state, not evidently the English word, but the Portuguese equivalent, instead of government. And it's, it's wrong because uh, the state is... The government... The government governs the state. Um, so while it can, be, you know, it's, it's, it is wrong, but it isn't completely wrong in the sense that it, it just, we are affected by the state, of, for the lack of a better word, of the state. Does that make sense? The state of the state? Anyway, we're, we're the, uh, the militia. We can fight for ourselves. Oh, that's another problem. That, that just makes it not make any sense. Because you defend the state. And that is a... a, a that's treasonous. <laughs> you're, you're, you're the militia to defend the state. And you are going to fight for... You're going to defend yourselves? Yeah, that's treasonous. Uh, but that's not what they mean. They mean what good is the government to us. In which case, uh, it is still treasonous. But yeah, go ahead. It's fine. Uh, although, no, wait. It's not fine. Because... Uh, no, it's not fine. It's definitely not fine. <laughs> uh... If you're gonna give the power of government to the militia, then it becomes a um, a military state. Um, but also, it, it it's sort of the opposite of what I thought was supposed to be here, Lindsay. No, Lindsay, you're not Lindsay. Sorry, Octavia. Um, the um, I'm trying to press the buttons. Varnhold Militia. Oh, dang it. I should have read the title. Some of Turval's people. Right. Oh, right. Okay, so I should have seen that. Yeah. Some of Turval's people believe. But then, this is this is what I was I came here to check on. The common folk can take better care of their settlement. That's, militia aren't the common folk. I mean, they might be comprised of common folk, but they still have a monopoly on violence. So they're it, it, not the common folk. They're specifically not. Because the common folk can't just go around doing militia work if they're not part of the militia. Does that make sense? Yes, they come from the common folk, but that's the same thing with the police. The police are still civilians. I mean, they're not, but, you know, they come from civilians, but they still have a monopoly on violence. Uh, and depending on the country, they do have one, unless some countries allow the military to operate within borders. And uh, anyway, the other countries don't do that. It's, it's fine. Anyway, we plow this land, says the guard. No, we don't. We should rule it as well. Yes, but you don't plow the land. And uh, I'm going to stick to that point, because that is pretty important. What good is the state to us? Oh, no, he says that again. Run back to your capital. This is my home, and I know uh, best how to protect the law here. You got that? Sure. Mm, I mean, yeah, you're not, you're, you're, not, you're not civilians. You're not peasants, specifically here. A fraught sen scene. Sorry. A fraught scene is playing out before you. Turval, who is... She came to you asking to form a militia in Varnold. Oh, right. Uh, the captain of the militia is in a fiery argument with a, an angry man in heavy armor. Their hands are on the hilts of their weapons and their eyes are locked. Their stares are so intense they could petrify a lesser warrior. Yeah, roll DC 10 for petrify. 
Anyway, that's gonna be that for today. We're gonna see how this plays out in the next episode. For right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Pathfinder Kingmaker. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.